I'm used to dealing with humans on death row as well as animals. It's saving just life, the lives of different types of sentient beings. I'm a law professor and I teach capital punishment. That's my area of expertise. And I also do capital defense work. April of 2000 is when I started formally doing Shih Tzu Rescue. I could foster five a year, it just depends. When you send a dog into a shelter like that, it's basically a death sentence. They really don't have the time to deal with the animal. You know, I've had dogs that I've saved where people have turned them in and said, well, they bite. They had one aggressive act and they were gonna, their life was gonna be destroyed. When actually, you know, I start working with them, you know, maybe it was out of fear that they bit. It's just a matter of teaching them. Nobody ever taught them. And that's like a lot of my clients. You know, when they were children, they were never parented. Usually all they were taught was violence because that's what they saw at home and that's what they saw, you know, a around them. And, you know, so I find that, that parallel. Dogs were taken off of the death row um, at the Muhlenberg County Humane Society and taken into the prison. I've seen how working with those animals has changed so many of the guys. You see these like big old guys who murdered people and you know, and they're just like, oh, it's that unconditional love. And once they learn that through by that experience, then they can start caring about other people because they know what it feels like to be loved. And then they can reciprocate. They bring a lot of happiness to me, even you know the ones I don't keep, which is the bulk of them, just knowing that they're going to a forever home and that person or, or people are so excited to get them. And then I come home, all these little guys run to the door and they really kind of give me faith again, you know? Like, there is life. As long as there's life, there's hope. And I tell my clients that as long as you're alive, there's hope. You know, so they really bring home that, that message.